Mongolia going against Othella Feralito of the United States. Again, this is a round robin bout. Only three wrestlers at this weight, so Feralito assured a bronze medal, even if she loses his, this bout, did lose her earlier bout today to her Chinese opponent. That would be Chen of China. She lost 10-0. Chen would then go on to lose to Su Qi from Mongolia, 11-11 in a wild one. So here's the scenario. If Su Qi wins this match right here, she becomes your gold medalist. If Feralita wins, it creates a three-way tie amongst the wrestlers, each with one win and one loss apiece. Therefore, we go to tie-breaking criteria. And we are underway. Suki in the red, Ferraletto in the blue. Ferraletto staying low. Now drag there from Suki. She was trying to drag and trip simultaneously. Couldn't quite get there. Going to get hit with a passivity warning 57 seconds into this bout. Suki now working two on one, snaps it down. And Ferletto just circling at this point, working on wrists, keeping her distance. Now she strikes in. Plays right into a Suki underhook. Ferlato circles out of it. Now Suki going to get warned for passivity here. One warning apiece. Critical moment here. Going to have someone on the shot clock relatively soon if it remains scoreless. So key to pick up the pace here at this juncture of the match. And with Suki controlling the center right now, Betting uh, Feralito gets put on the shot clock here. Uh, now Suki with the shot attempt. Feralito circling, trying to isolate that arm, which crank around and uh, grab the lat there, but can't quite get it done. And now Feralito going to get put on the shot clock with one minute left in the first period. We're still scoreless. Ferraletto is on that 30 second shot clock. Once we hit 30 seconds on your score clock, shot clock will have expired. Outside shot from Suki. Ferraletto in on the shot. Two seconds remain on the shot clock. And the whistle is blown. Uh, so that'll be a caution. Feraleto, one point Suki. And actually, don't believe it should have been stopped there. The rule is you get continuation of the move. She was in on the shot, attempting to finish. And uh, supposed to be allowed the opportunity to finish there, but the official blew the whistle. Nothing you can really do about it. And time will tick down on the first. It appears we're going to have a 1-0 score. Actually, whistle blown. Now into the first period. 1-0. Suki leads it.
And back to action. Barreletto and Suki. Oh, a nice little tactical single leg there from Suki, and she's trying to finish and does. Quick finish, elevation of the leg. Hard to defend that. And they go out of bounds, back up to the center. Quick takedown here, 30 seconds into this one. Now a little separation from Suki, so Farolato going to have to pick up her offense. She's in on the single leg now, lifting, and loses the leg. Now a reshot, low level from Suki. Transitions to the double driving, and that will be four pointers going out of bounds. Four points is confirmed. 7-0 going to be your score. Now big gap here for Suki. Fairly they're going to have to pull out all the stops. Still plenty of time. No room for error. Oh, and double leg to the back for Suki. And that will wrap it up one way or another. She's looking for the fall. And they go out of bounds. But the damage is done. Suki going to take this one. 11-0 over Athela Ferraleto of the United States. Suki earns the gold medal at 60 kilos. Ferraleto will walk away with the bronze.